Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. And this is a flip through video. So uh, thank you for joining me. I am doing a flip through of this Jingle Bells uh, journal. It's a little golden book. And uh, so let's just get started. Uh, this is, like I said, a little golden book. I have uh, a closure is eyelets they are the antique brass eyelets and this pretty uh, vintage fabric here and also I have some vintage fabric on the spine two signatures I used mac matching wax cord it's kind of a goldish colors and it matches the flowers here there's a little yellow center in these daisy looking flowers here and here's the back this book was in really good shape it was it is vintage it is a vintage version, um, but uh, and I have all the pages from the book in in the inside the book. So let's just get started with a flip through. So I kind of uh, did a little bit of decorating in here, but not a lot of like embellishments, just mostly some trims. And so it's a base. I would call it a base or a blank journal. So and and I'll tell you what I did at the end so that you can have whoever gets this journal can have some fun with it and uh, the reason I did that I was kind of inspired by I'm working on my December daily and uh, as I'm working on that I you know I made the journal myself so I put blank pages in there and I'm having so much fun with it I thought you know I don't want to take that fun <laughs> away from someone else that might want to have all the fun I'm having with my December daily and now not that this is going to be a December daily. I'm just saying, you know, whoever gets this journal can just decorate away, write, put in pictures, whatever you want. And if you need ideas on how to journal on these pages, just watch some of my December dailies. I'm on day number. I'm on today. I just finished today. So I'm up, I'm up to date. So, you know, I've got, uh, I think, uh, thir between 13 or 15 videos now <laughs> since we're on day 15. Uh, you know, on how to how I've been uh, journaling in my December daily, and I would say it's definitely junk journaling, but not with junk. I have little pictures and little pieces and things I wanted to, to have fun with. So you know, just take a peek at the, the at those videos if you've never done any journaling in a junk journal. And so let's just open this up because I know there's a little bit of glare on this cover. So, as I was working on this, you can see the pages here. Uh, let me tell you that, you, you know the size of a little golden book probably, but uh, what I did and what I've been doing when I make little golden books is I keep the golden spine. I don't like cutting that up. It's just, uh, I collect these books personally. I don't just make journals out of them. I've been collecting them since my kids were very little. And uh, I just can't cut off the spine, so I leave it, you know, how the spine is, and I leave it on, it's on the front and the back. So that adds that extra bit of length to the, you know, to the journal cover. So, like, this is a little over six and a half, almost six and three quarter inches wide, and the length is about oh almost eight just under eight inches long and then as you open it up you can see the pages okay so let me tell you the pages because I made them a little bit of an indent inside so that you know they wouldn't be sticking out and you have plenty of room to protect your edges so the pages are a very good size to journal on and have plenty of room to put in your goodies but the pages are let's see I would say about five and a half inches or a good five and a half inches and they're a little bit you know they're you know how junk journals are the pages are a little bit different sizes but the longest length here of the pages is eight inches long so there you go now as I was making this journal I uh, lined the inside because I think there was some writing or something on the insides of these and they needed to be have a new lining so I used some of the Christmas uh, scrapbook paper that I've been using in my Christmas journals and it is a card stock so it's a good heavy paper but I put some in the front and back covers and I was working on it before I put covers in because I wasn't sure 
what I wanted to do the covers. And by the way, you can see this pretty fabric on the inside here too. It wraps around the front and, you know, the outside and the inside. But I was kind of, you know, I already had the pages picked out and, and cut and everything and ready to go. And then I was kind of thinking about pockets and, you know, tried several different options. And then I remembered I had these library pockets. This one I got in Happy Mail. And when I picked it up and I put it down here, it looks so beautiful and perfect like it was made for this journal. I just really couldn't believe it. But it's very cool and I want to make some more of these. I've never made one exactly like this. And I'm going to, uh, well, I'll have this video so I'll remember how, you know, <laughs> the videos are good for remembering how we've, did, we've done things so or how things were in our journals. So this is basically made with a strip of paper, you can see, and so it was a strip of paper folded in half. It's very nicely distressed. And then another piece of paper, like scrap of paper, glued to the outside here in a way that you have a pocket. So probably glued, you know, it's folded in half and glued on three sides to make a pocket. And then so you have writing room here, writing room all under here, and then it was it's nicely decorated. There's a little label here that looks like a Denison label. I don't know if it's uh, actual label or a copy that's been cut out. It looks, it feels kind of thick, so it might be an actual vintage label. Like I said, I got it in Happy Mail. And then there's a pretty little piece here. And these colors go so well with the scrapbook paper I used is uh, the thing that made it look so perfect when I put it down. There's uh, just some little scraps. These were in here when I got it in Happy Mail. A cute little, looks like a vintage piece of paper with a little notch here that's really neat. A little piece here that has that same cool notch in it. Let me show you up close so you can see what I'm talking about. It's really cool. It's probably some kind of punch, but I don't have that, so it's really cool, I think. And then here's a piece of distressed uh, like cardstock or cardboard feeling paper. But that's all in there to have fun with and that's exactly how I received it so that's exactly how I put it in there and let me tell you about the back pocket the back pocket um, was from a book that I made a journal into and so uh, I decided to part with it <laughs> it wasn't easy but I put it right here it's the actual library card from a book you know that was discarded from a library here's the actual library card that was in here so they match do they match they don't match. I don't think they match. Okay, they don't match. But still, cool original library card there with, you know, the kids, or I guess it was from a kid's book that, you know, the dates and the names that were checked out, the due date, it looks like, or something, some kind of numbers here. I'm trying to see if there's a year. I don't see a year. But, uh, yeah, really cool. I love, the, love stuff like that. So that's in there. And then I just added a couple of index cards for writing room or decorating. And if you've never uh, worked with index cards in your junk journals, they are fun to cut in half and make two, you know, drawing cards out of one. And I usually round the corners and they look really cute like that. So those are in there, a pink and yellow one, just for fun. So let's get started with our flip through. So basically what I did was two signatures there's uh i think there's let's see 32 pages or 64 fronts and backs in both plus the book pages from the book okay so as we get started this was a cover and it's a very thick cover from a cookie christmas cookie recipe book and i put the cookie side here on the front because this this was so pretty and you'll see the back side right here is has the name of the book on it right here Christmas cookies <laughs> so really cute I thought and it makes for a nice sturdy cover over your pages and then on the back well I have the trim here let's see I have this red trim sewn on and then on the back cover it was uh, the same no it was different it's a little uh, fabric ruffle here that I put on the back of this first signature right there so as we go in there's a tuck spot here with some just some cardstock 
and I put a little card in here. Now this card was, uh, this is a card I showed in one of my Thrifted Treasures videos where someone had, a company had imprinted their company name and said, you know, thank you for your business this year. So I put a nice little Christmas sticker there to cover up that and then you can do whatever you want with this. So it's checked in here. And uh, so this is, this is just craft cardstock right here. This is a page from an Ideals magazine. All my, uh, most of my Ideals magazines are vintage, but some of them are from the 2000s. And if you know Ideals magazines, even the 2000s, the ones are the magazines that are from the 2000s, they even look vintage. So once you get a page into your journal, it's hard to tell, you know, <laughs> whether they're vintage or not. But anyway, this was from an Ideals magazine. I think I put a little strip of paper here to decorate and then next page is from a planner. Here's another strip of that paper here. And then this is a little flip down. I did a, this in a, my last couple of journals where I made a little flip down of a Rolodex card and I just thought it was cute. And so it's on a hinge and it just flips down and you can write on the back and the front of this and it has lines on this type of Rolodex card. And this planner paper has been copy dyed. So this is a page from, oh, these are the pages from the book. So there's, I kept them all in order. And when I took the book apart, it was basically two signatures. So I put one of the signatures in the front, one of the signatures in the back. So that should have kept the pages in order. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they should be in order. But, he, you know, these are really cute little pages. If you've ever seen this book, you'll know the colors and just really cute. Here's a little stamp actually from where it used to be. Uh, someone put their little stamp there. I don't know. It's, it looks like a individual, but I don't know. There it is. So very nicely stamped there. And I thought that was kind of cute. This is a, a book page that I writ, I writ died, or I'm calling it my, bur my uh, cranberry paper during Christmas. But it's uh, dyed with burgundy writ dye, and that's a book page. This is coffee dyed paper. This is a music that has music, vintage music paper that has been coffee dyed. And I've got this fabric trim sewn on there, kind of like, almost like a, a trim or a long tab kind of thing. Just kind of neat to have that trim on there. This is some of my Christmas card stock that I uh, sprayed a light spray on the back of all of my cardstock that I used in my journals. And it's a green spray that so just so we wouldn't have a lot of white. So I really think that turned out pretty. And I've got a pocket sewn in here. It was the paper folded up, but I still sewed all around. And then so in here I've got a vintage Christmas card. A cute little one little boy and his puppy by the fire and you can see the browning a little bit on here I thought it was really I've had these for a while I've had these before I started junk journaling and just I use them myself to send out <laughs> Christmas cards and I still have a few left so I put one in here and then yeah I got those at uh, like a garage sale and this is a piece of a Christmas card that I made into a journaling card and it's got a little sticker right there, just added to the snowflakes, another snowflake sticker. And then this is a little card I also made from a Christmas card that I got in Happy Mail from Harmony. And the back is file folder, and that was never used, but it has all these cool little lines and things that you can write on if you want. It's messy stitched around, if you've never heard of that. It's just where you kind of, not so neatly, I mean I could have sewed it more more neater but it's fun just to do a little bit of you know not so neat stitching sometimes and then I have some tatting vintage tatting sewn right up there on the top as a little decoration and then here's ideals pet uh, this is uh, this is I think from the cookie book cookie recipe book I think it has I see recipe here recipe information here so I think it was from that cookie book so more of my writ dye paper. This has lines on it. This is an envelope that I cut apart and put on a copy from an interdepartment uh, envelope. Put that here for just, uh, it, you know, it was vintagey looking. I think I copied it, put a P 
piece there. I thought it looked really cool and vintage. And then the back is coffee dyed. This is a page from the December section of the Edith Holden. Here you see it says December. This is tracing paper that's been coffee dyed. This is uh, graph paper that's been coffee dyed. Some more of my writ dyed paper. This is a page from a children's dictionary and some coffee dyed paper. This is a page from the cr children's um, Cricut magazine that I uh, have picked up a few of these at a thrift store. And this had some red on it. This was this December issue. It is vintage. I'm trying to remember what year that was from. It was like from 1972, something like that. So really cool. You can see the little mailbox and there's a little cricket right there. So really cute. And next page, uh, this is the middle of this, uh, the first signature. So I took this out of a recipe binder that I bought and it was a recipe binder that had a bunch of these in there. And I just thought that it would make a cute little pocket section for my journal. So I put it right in the middle and you can see here it says baked goods and desserts. And it had this cute picture on the side and I didn't put anything over here again so that you could choose, whoever gets this, can choose to decorate here or do whatever they want. I almost decorated, I was getting ready to, I was figuring out, I thought, I thought you know, somebody might just want to really, you know, because it's the cutest little thing, and I thought somebody will just want to do whatever they want to do here. So I wasn't going to take that fun away from anyone, <clears throat> but I put lots of things in the pockets in the journal so that you could choose something from here, maybe something from your own, you know, craft stash. But anyway, what I put in here was, this is a little page from that Cricut book that I thought was so cute. Uh, what I really liked was this side. Uh, it had a poem by Robert Frost, and I thought that was just neat. It has this burgundy trim around it, and there's, a, there's like a Christmas tree there. The back is even cute, too. It has some red you know, writing here and just really neat. So I put that, I just love that page and I didn't want to cut it up. So I put it in here. A tag I made from that reindeer uh, Christmas card that I got from Harmony. And so again, two lines of messy stitching around. We've got the cute little red reindeer, some fabric here and coffee dyed paper on the back to write on. So that came out super cute. And then this is a piece of, to like it was like a time card that I received in Happy Mail again. And I decorated with some postage stamps. There's a little reindeer here and just some different pieces. I uh, layered them on there and distressed. And so there's some writing room on the back and it can be used for whatever you want. It could even be used to decorate a, a page or make a pocket. So that is in there. This side is... Another piece of a card with, this is a snowman sticker, and there's um, a little snowflake right there. These are the stickers that I got from Dollar Tree that I was just having some fun to see how they did on journaling cards. And it's sticking pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, if you, you know, I don't see any place where it's loose. So right now it's sticking pretty good. So, so far so good on those. And then you can write all over the back of that. Oops, I've got a little piece of paper there. But yeah, those those were pretty fun to work with. This is another Christmas card that I picked up at a thrift store. And it's actually an invitation. And it was just so pretty. I thought it would be neat little, you know, use for a decoration. Cut it up, make a journaling card or tag or whatever. But anyway, I just thought it was neat. So I picked those up at a thrift store and put one right in this pocket. And then this is another piece from that reindeer card. Uh, it had something down here that was just a partial word, like, you know, wasn't a full full word. So I ended up putting a sticker here, a pretty little sticker, Christmas sticker. And then the reindeers are right there. It's distressed, and it came out really cute. So that's in there as a journaling card. And I did put tatting right here and tatting right here on this envelope section. So on to the back half of the first signature, which you've already seen you know, these pages in the first half. Here I've got a little pocket 
that I made from a piece of a book page right here you can see it's kind of uh, wiggly and squiggly but I thought that was fun I don't remember how I how I ended up with that I probably cut something out and I thought that would make a good corner tuck <laughs> so I put it right there and here's a piece of lace that is a burgundy lace that matches a lot of the colors in here this is a recipe card that I received in Happy Mail. It's a Christmas themed recipe card that I received from Maria. So that is in there. And then this is a little tag I made from a cutoff from a file folder. I added this little, it's like a piece from a digital kit that looks like a postage stamp, but it's Christmas related. It has a little reindeer on there, a little wreath. Maybe you can see it, it's pretty tiny. Then I put a little tiny eyelet on here and some baker's twine and distressed it. So super cute. And so the rest of this signature, you can see uh, I've got a pocket here with, uh, that's the one that was sewn around with on the Christmas card stock. I've got an envelope from one of the cards that I think I put one of these cards. Yeah, this is the one where the business was on the bottom of the inside. This, this envelope is from that card. So that's stuck right there. This is from a vintage, uh, I think this was from a cookbook. Uh, yeah, it was from a Family Circle cook cookbook. And it was an advertisement in there. And I, and I, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. It's old and it's, I like the color, the pink, this pink color with the like burgundy print on here. So I just stuck that in here as a, you know, authentic original uh, piece of ephemera. And this is a part piece from a Christmas card that I made into a journaling card. And it does have some writing on the back. You can cover that up with a sticker or some, you know, uh, coffee dyed paper. Or you can just use it as a tuck spot somewhere or a decoration. Depending on what you're doing. Maybe you're doing some layering. You need a, a snowy tree scene. There you go. And it's got some pretty glitter on it. <laughs> so, pretty neat. So, here's another piece of the fabric. Like, trim or tab, whatever you want, might want to call it, on that music paper there so and here's the back half of the you know this book pages from this book and then we are at the back this is the back cover of the first signature okay so let's look at the second signature that is covered by a piece from a magazine from a house uh, I think it was good housekeeping magazine the Christmas uh, edition and I put this red trim on here. It's sewn on. And then I backed it. It had something, an advertisement on the back that I didn't really care for. So I backed it with some of my blue dyed paper and sewed it on. And as I was sewing on, I thought, wouldn't it be neat to leave a little secret pocket here? So there's nothing in here, but it's like you don't really notice it. Like you don't know there's a pocket there. So I kind of thought that could be like a secret pocket. If you want to put something in there, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but it is there. And if you didn't like it, you could even glue it down or glue it together or sew it together by hand. Or if you can put it in your sewing machine, you can. if you can get it in your sewing machine, you could sew it closed. But anyway, I just thought that was a, kind of a fun thing to have a secret pocket right there. And then we've got cardstock, a page from the Ideals Magazine another little Rolodex flip down on planner paper. This is pages from the book. So we've got, we had three in the front and there's three in the back. Kind of have them all just folded together here. And the burgundy writ dyed book page, coffee dyed paper, music paper with a fabric uh, edge here or trim. The uh, cardstock Christmas paper with a pocket. On this pocket, see, did I decorate the other pocket? Uh, yeah, I've got a label on each of the pockets. This is a little Christmas label, label like a two from label. And I picked out one for each of these cardstock pockets that I thought matched the journal. So there is that right there. And then in here, one of my uh, industrial type tags that I made into jur like journaling cards or tags for my journals for Christmas. I made several of these and I received these in Happy Mail from Dale and added the, it was already, it had this flip up, it has a flip up here. The thing that is cool is it has this flip up that you can write under here and then I decorated this part. So this is like, 
paper and the back is cardstock like a tag and then I added uh, this little trim here I added a sticker sticker and then this card is a old world Santa old world Santa collectible Christmas playing card or collectible card so that's what that is from this is a 1907 USA it says on it so that's in there a piece from the Christmas card that's a journaling card now and has a little cardinal on, on the snowy tree and then this is another piece of that time card that I decorated I added this little tab right here and the word wander and this little piece of I cut kind of like fussy cut this out from my cardstock little circles and put that on there I distressed it and now it's a journaling card. <laughs> so, and this is a page from the cookie book, the cookie, you know, recipe book that I used as the cover from the for the front signature, first signature. And so you can see my writ dyed paper. This is a piece of calendar. It has pretty uh, geese flying over a lake here. And then graph, writ dyed paper. And this is from a dictionary. These, these dictionary pages are from children's dictionaries. Edith Holden, the December section again. Here you see the word December again. And coffee dyed lined. And this is from the Cricut magazine. They had these pretty red uh, decorations for that month of December. The middle uh, section again with these cute little pockets from the recipe book binder. Binder book. This one said, says breads and rolls. So in these pockets, and the lady that previously owned it wrote salsa and sauces here. So you can cover that up if you don't like it with a sticker, but I think it's kind of cool. So here, a uh, tag that I made. I also made, I was recycling. I was trying to recycle all of my used Christmas cards that I had. So this one uh, was made from a Christmas card. I added the Santa and the couple of strings up here sewed all the way around you know cut it into the tag shape added coffee dyed paper on the back so it can be written all over the back if you want nice and sturdy and then this uh, is a page from the Cricut magazine that I thought was really neat it's about uh, it's a little poem it says snow feathers and you know it's got the little creatures from the Cricut magazine down here and just a really cute page that I didn't want to cut up and I thought it would be fun to put in here. So that is in the pocket. And then these are the tags here that I got from Dollar General that I made into. I made I used some of them to decorate like tags and journal cards. And some of them I turned into little like they are tags, but I kind of just added a uh eyelet here and a piece of baker's twine. So you can write on the back or use it somewhere on a gift or you know to decorate the journal or whatever you want it's just a fun thing and then over in the next pocket uh, I had copied some of my my uh, original kind of old antique Christmas postcards so this is one of them I copied it and put it onto file folder distressed it so now it looks just like my antique uh, postcards a really pretty one and then this is a tag I made. Just has a little leaf on here with some lace that matches. And then this is another card I had uh, where I was recycling some of the cards. And this guy was on a car, you know, part of a card. <laughs> and I cut him, cut him loose and added some. He also has a little eyelet here with baker's twine and a little snowflake to cover. I think there was something on here that I wanted to cover up some words. So just put that little snowflake on there. So he is also in this pocket. Got to be careful with his feet. They're a little bit delicate because they're small little feet and on the bottom here of his of his body. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Tatting on both sides of that again. There and there. Okay. And then we're on the back half of the second signature. So you can see there's a lot of room in here to put whatever you want to put in here. And like I said, if you need ideas, look at my December daily uh, journal with me or craft with me videos. You can see what I've been doing. Here's that label again. And in this pocket, another piece of that glittery Christmas snowy uh, 
card that I made into a journaling card, a piece of the time card also decorated and distressed. Okay, so layering, some a little bit of layering going on there. Pretty layering. And then another one of these little tiny tags with an eyelet and a postage stamp. And that's in there too. So, and another fabric tab here. And you can pretty much see what else. This is the rest of the book pages from this book. And this is the back half of this signature, which you've already seen. There's that blue dyed paper. And we're at the back, and I already showed you the, the back and the pocket and everything. So, since I, you know, you can see I lightly, very lightly decorated the pages. A few things here and there, right? So, instead of me putting in the things, I took the things that I might have put in here. And I started cleaning up because this is the last Christmas journal I'm making this year. I made a lot of Christmas journals this year. <laughs> I have never, I only made one last year. And so I went a little crazy this year. I made, let me count real quick, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, wait, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. <laughs> this is my 19th Christmas journal this year. There's still some in my shop. Uh, so what I did was as I was cleaning, starting to clean up and instead of putting things in here, I got a little bag ready. Okay. So this is a little Christmas treat bag that I'm going to put some goodies in and what I've collected so far. Now I'm not saying this is all, but this is what I've collected so far that I would have probably put in here in somewhere if uh, I were to go to town and decorate this journal. So I've got some cutoffs here, just a couple of cutoffs. I've got a napkin, a whole napkin. This is what it looks like. It's white here, but this is the part I used when I was decorating with this napkin. So it's a nice, pretty Christmas napkin. I've got uh, another, let's see, I got another piece of napkin that was here that I used in some of the journals. I just thought it was pretty and I used it in, in the Christmas journals. I've got a doily with poinsettias, poinsettias, and I've got, I cut a piece of the labels that I used on the pockets in there. Uh, it's on a big sheet, so I cut, there's one, two, three, four labels on this piece, so I put some labels in there, some snowflakes. This was a piece I was probably going to put in there. It's a piece from a card. I uh, distressed it. Cut it out, distress it. I was going to put it in there, but I put it in the bag instead. It says Season's Greetings. Uh, some of these little labels that I got from a digital kit from Shabby Dabby, Dabby Doob, uh, they're left over from my uh, design team project. There's a few of those. This is a little tag that I uh, someone gave me a set of these. They're little Disney uh, tags. You can see they're really cute. This one looks like airmail. And it's got Mickey Tis this season. And then the two from on the back, a little hole there. This is a playing card that I've been putting in the journals. So it's a Christmas playing card. Here's a little sticker. I just have a few of these left, but I wanted to add one that's on the acetate. So I just cut it out of the sheet of uh, little Santas and put one in here for you. I've got two uh, of my vintage paper coasters in here to decorate with. I've got, uh, I had a bunch of these foam, you know, a package from Dollar Tree, these foam, uh, they're they're just, are they, they're not stickers, are they? <laughs> I don't remember. I think they are stickers. That's right. They are stickers, but what I did, and the sticker sheet is still on here, but I added, I wanted to play with some of these uh, little hooks that I had, so I put an eyelet in here. It's a little blue eyelet, so it matches the blue on the snowman, and one of these little hooks, I just wanted to see if it would hook onto here, and it did. It made a little, like a charm, so I put one of those in here. You can hang it. And a piece of red ribbon, in case you need some ribbon. I put a little, it's a little like Nutcracker Soldier. He's on a clothes, little tiny clothespin here. I have these from last year. So I put one of those in there. So that's all going to go in the bag and hopefully it will all fit in there. <clears throat> a few other little pieces of hardware here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got some buttons. There are, some are vintage and some are new, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six buttons, different colors, and a little key tag. That's going to be in there. 
And actually, let me just throw these in the bag because, <laughs> like I said, I'm starting to clean up. So I'm going to put them right in the bag. And then I've got two bolt pins so you can hang that little snowman from one of the pieces of fabric on one of these uh, bolt pins or maybe even from this. But here's a little tiny. I like to include these and do things with these in my journals. So I'll either pin it to put some beads on there, hang something from it, or whatever you want to do. There's a little tiny mini uh, safety pin there. And that's, uh, oh, one more thing. I I did stamping in my uh, last, I had got a new stamp set, and I did stamping in my last journal because I just got it before my last journal. So that's the only one I used the stamps, the rubber stamps in. I thought, well, should I go ahead and stamp in here because I can't, it's not like I can send the stamps to you. <laughs> so what I did was I was stamped on, I had this pretty piece, it's just a cut off, but the coloring was so pretty on here. It looked, you know, it had a neutral background. It's just a cut off, but I went ahead and used it because I thought it was so pretty. And I stamped my warm and cozy here in coffee colored ink and my archival ink. And also this one is a pretty one. It says, be filled with joy. And it has pretty little like leaves and flowers around it. Like it's, it's a Christmas stamp set. So that I included too so that you can... You can either use this whole piece, like cut it in half and use the separate pieces, use this whole piece, or even kind of like fussy cut or use your circle punch or, you know, if you have a punch that goes around this or whatever, just whatever you want to do. I thought that would be a good way to include some rubber stamping without me doing it. And then you can put it wherever you want. Uh, so, yeah, I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> and then, oh, one more thing. Here's a candy cane. This fell down little candy cane that has uh, a eyelet in it right there so you can put a pin in and hang that from one of those bulb pins if you wanted to so that isn't going to be in there and I was going to show you if I can find it real quick that I got a new set of needles here and I can't find the one oh here it is the one I used okay so I was looking for some new pins new needles Kind of just I was looking for needles for something else and I noticed these uh, I've been kind of wanting to get a different needle to sew in my signatures I wanted a long longer maybe or really I just wanted a thinner needle so I found these needles it's a set of uh, there's let's see how many are in here one two three four five and these are called doll needles I got these at Walmart let me show you the little right here where it says doll needles hopefully you can see that and it's focusing but uh, yeah these are this worked out awesome I didn't use there's one that's in here that's a little bit bigger let me show you this one is bigger than the one I used so I didn't use this one this one is a little shorter the one I used and a little skinnier or thinner so this one would work probably really good too, but I wanted a thinner one, so I used this one. My wax cord went into this eye just fine, no problem getting it through that eye, and that's what I wanted too. Some of them had, real, you know, such tiny eyes, I knew my wax cord or baker's twine or whatever wouldn't fit in there. The wax cord went in there, no problem on this one. This one I didn't try, of course the wax cord would go in here and I think the baker's twine would go in here with no problem I don't know if the baker's twine would go in here if I was using baker's twine especially the Dollar Tree baker tw baker's twine that's a little thicker I might have to use this one but um, I do have some thinner baker's twine that might go in this one just showing you in case you're having any needle issues my other needle was fine I just for my own preference I wanted to try a thinner needle so because I my um is you know my my i'll say pokey tool <laughs> i don't know what the real name of it is but the needle on that is so thin that my needle that i was using to sew in the signature seemed to be fatter than the hole that i was making so i wanted a thinner needle to fit through that hole that was the whole that's the moral of the story right there <laughs> so <laughs> Anyway, I hope that maybe helps someone with any kind of needle issues. 
doll needles from Walmart is where I got them. So uh, they probably have them on Amazon too. I'm sure they do. I just wanted to see them in person to see that how thin and long and that I wanted to see that uh, eye. That was really important. So hope you enjoyed the journal. I had a total fun making this. This is what it looks like. Uh, you know, top, bottom, side. You can see everything there. So uh, everyone have a Merry Christmas. And I hope you are enjoying, uh, you know, the holiday season. So see you next time. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.